uh, somebody was asking the other day about craft aids so i thought we'd just do a little demonstration of it because i think they're one of those quite underrated uh really handy things um so if you've not really come across them before they're basically i mean we have all sorts here i mean we've got sugar skulls hold it the right way up to the camera um we've got celtic um we've got all sorts of different patterns and designs and I do particularly like them for Celtic because knot work's really, really tricky to transfer when you're carving and tooling. Um, so basically what they do is they come out like this kind of acrylic sheet which has these raised areas. So if you feel it over it, it's like an embossing sheet basically. Um, and that's essentially exactly what it is. Now, the trick with it is it all in the casing. So um, here's one I did a bit earlier. So what you want to do is you want to get your leather really um, damp and to the right moisture content um, in much the same way as you're going to do when you're ready to do your carving and tooling. So I'm just using the sponge to put some water onto the leather and I want it to really um, soak in and soak through the layers and be quite even. Uh, now one of the best results you can do uh, to get that is to pop it into a Ziploc bag and in the fridge for 10 minutes, especially if you're working on thick leather or a big piece or you need to take a tea break. Um, or whatever but we're just going to do a little example on this coaster so i am just got it fairly evenly on and I'm just going to wait for it to slightly dry back and lighten and I have here a little little deer um, so you need to make sure you put him the right way down as well so feel um, this one because I've, I've cut this up a little bit so um, feel where that is and place it down um, I'm going to put him, I'm going to put him in the centre. Uh, sometimes I've done little rows of where I've layered them over, but I'm going to do a central one here. So once it's down, you don't want it to move. So keep your finger pressure on it. And when you, if you have cut them like I've done here, just make sure you're not going and pressing too far into the edges because you don't want to leave a line impression on it. So let's move that water out of the way. And I'm just going to go and give it a rub over. Now I'm using a bone folder. Uh, you can use your slicker, wood slicker, anything with a rounded tip. And reasonably firm pressure. If you um, ever went to do brass rubbing when you were in primary school, I know I did. That's what it's bringing back memories of. <laughs> Terrifying. Um, actually, yeah, it was quite fun. <laughs> And so I'm just really pressing over. Now, if you've got an area with lots of detail, like this little face here, I'm just going to press over a little bit firmer into that. And you want to make sure it's not moving. You also want to make sure um, that you've got everything covered. Now, you can peel it back a little and have a quick look uh, and see how you're getting on. Um, but it does tend to move when you do that. So if you've moved it, you want to just lay it back down and see if you can look and see where your uh, lines are to do. It's a little bit tricky, so it's best to get it right the first time. Uh, so I'm just going to give it a little bit more work. A little bit more. And the best thing about these is you can use them again and again. I've only met one person who wore hers out and uh, <laughs> she had made loads and loads. And we did. Yeah, it was quite funny when she rang to say she'd worn it out. Um, right, okay, so I'm going to peel that up off there. And then I'll show that to the camera. Pretty good, eh? And that will give you, you can either leave that as an emboss like that. You can use it as a colouring um, template to colour that in. You can use it for then your carving and your tooling and picking out all the detail. Um, you could just go quite simple with it and um, pick up something like a scratch all and pull out and pick detail to create the fur, maybe with just a little um, little bits here and there. So if you want, if you haven't kind of tackled full on carving yet, this is a really good kind of way in sometimes. Um, but as I say, particularly with uh, these Celtic knot work, there's at least three different sheets of these um, plus the Sheridan style, um, plus all sorts of fun ones. So go and check it out if you haven't already. Thank you for watching.